Hello, good morning my dear children. Welcome to the world of mathematics. Now, the chapter what we are going to deal is knowing our numbers. Now, when you deal with this chapter, there are many new words that come in. Two of them I will say just now. Two words quite often come. They are digit and number. A question for you. Is there any difference between digit and number or are they the same? Just think for a second. A second's time I will give you. Have you got the answer in your mind? Okay, I will tell you. When you use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, these are known as digits. So what are the digits? 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. up to 9. Now, when you put digits together, that is suppose you take the digit 3 and the digit 5, you put them together, you get the number 35. So, digits are put together to form numbers. Another one example, if you take the digits say 2, 4, and 6 then you get the number 246 you will not say digit 2 digit 4 digit 6 you will call it as number 246 so is it clear what are digits and what is a number digit 0 to 9 digits are put together to form numbers now again a question comes to your mind so will we call 2 or 3 or 4 as only digit it can also be called as a number as and when the situation arises suppose you want to say about a number 4 then you won't say it as digit 4 you will say the number 4 but basically it is a digit or you can say it as a single digit number even that can be told so you have understood what is the difference between a digit and a number so now somebody asks you, is there a difference between a digit or a number and a number or are they the same? You should be able to answer the question. Now another one term what we come across is numeration. Numeration. See, all of us have got our own names. Why do we have names? It is for identifying us. Isn't it? All of you have got ID cards with you in that your names have been printed in it. So whenever we take the ID card and say, oh, this is such and such child. You can understand that. Same way, numbers have also got their own identity. We call them by their names. And that is known as a number name. Now, for example, see, let me take this 2, 4, 6. The digits 2, 4, 6 taken together. I told you it is 246. So, this is the number name for this 2, 4, 6. 246. See, as my name is Manju, I, my identity is, okay, Manju. I am identified by my name. Same way, this number is identified by its name 246. When I use the digits to represent the number, then I call it as numeral. So, what is a numeral? When you write it as the digits, that is 1, 2, 3 put together, you write it as 35, you write it as 3, 5, you call it as numeral. 
and when you say 35 it is its number name so the process of using or the method where we use both number name and numeral is what is known as numeration numeration means something related to the numbers what is that thing it is about the number name or the numeral now earlier we had uh, provided you with uh, worksheets there we have uh, written the number names and numerals uh, then we have seen the place values value of the place and then even the place value chart i think you are aware up to class 5 you would have learned up to the 10000 place now today we will be dealing with the systems of numeration okay now basically there are two systems of numeration they are Indian system of numeration and international system of numeration so which are the two systems of numeration the Indian system of numeration and international system of numeration so today we will be dealing with the Indian system of numeration so the Indian system of numeration numeration as you know it is something related with the number name and writing as the numerals so in the Indian system of numeration we have got four periods there are four periods in the Indian system of numeration now which are the four periods the ones period the thousands period the lakhs period and the crores period so which are the four periods in the Indian system of numeration the ones period the thousands period the lakhs period and the crores period now each of these periods is again divided into places three of the periods are divided into two places each and one of them is divided into three places the thousands lakhs and crores period are divided into two places each and the one period is divided into three places the one period is divided as the ones place tens place and the hundreds place so which are the places in the ones period ones tens and hundreds now the thousands period is divided into two places one thousand and ten thousand same way the lakhs period is also divided into two places one lakh and ten lakh and crore period also into two places one crore and ten crore now one thing i would like to remind you see this lakhs most of you are bound to make mistake when you write this lakhs over the years i found most of the children will be writing it as now what is this this is lakes lakes almost a similar word to what we are dealing with so please don't write it as lakes it is lakhs l a k h s so we have seen the indian system of numeration divided into four periods once thousands lakhs and crores period and these periods are again divided into places the ones period divided into ones tens and hundreds places the thousands period divided into one thousands and ten thousands place the lakhs period divided into one lakh and ten lakh place and the crores period divided into one crore and ten crore place now you are also aware of uh, writing the place value chart and representing the numbers in the place value chart you have learned up to 10,000 place I think in uh, your lower classes so let us try to draw the place value chart for the Indian system of numeration so hope you have understood how we are uh, writing the numbers in this system there are four periods and uh, totally can you tell me how many places are there 
2, 4, 6 plus 3, 9. So, 4 periods and 9 places in the Indian system of numeration. So, let us draw the place value chart and try to represent the periods, places and also the place values. So, you have the periods along the side. Then we have the places. Then we have the place values. Okay. Now, as I have told you, how many periods? There are four periods. Which are they? The ones period. The thousands period. The lakh. And the cross period. Now, each of the periods are again divided into places. I told you, which among this has... The maximum number of places, the one period. The one period is divided into three places. So let us divide it into three places. Which are they? They are the ones, tens, and hundreds place. Then we have the thousands period divided into two places, which are the one thousand and the ten thousand. The lakh period divided into one lakh and 10 lakh and the crore period divided into 1 crore and 10 crore. So this is how the place value chart for the Indian system of numeration is represented. Now what are the values? The ones place has a got a value of 1. The tens place 10, 100, this is 1000, 10,000, now 1 lakh, then we have uh, 10 lakh, then uh, 1 crore with a value of 10 crore the value of 10. so this is the place value for the different places now as you look into the place value chart when you move towards the left, we can find a relation between the places. Now you look at one's place. What is the value of one's place? One. Now coming to the tens place, what is the value of the tens place? Ten. So what is the relation between the ones and tens place? The relation is tens place is 10 times the ones place. Same way look at the tens and hundreds place. The tens place value is 10, hundreds place value is 100. So how many tens make 100? 10 tens make 100. Which means as you move towards the left of the place value chart, each place is 10 times the previous place. Previous means the place that is coming just before. So what is the relation of the places in a place value chart, Indian system of numeration? As you move towards the left, each place is 10 times the previous place. So have you understood the place value chart, how to... Uh, write the periods and places in the place value chart. Now we will be learning how to write the number name as well as the numeral in the Indian system of numeration.
Now coming to the number name. Suppose I give a number, say, I've just given a number. Now when you look at this number, oh such a big number, how are we going to name it? Because up to 10,000 space it is okay, we have already learned. But now you have learned the Indian system of numeration, the places and periods, it is clear for you. So you should be able to write the number name for this particular number. So to make it easier, we will be inserting commas. Commas can be inserted. Now where to insert the commas? You will insert commas after every period starting from the extreme right. So we will be putting commas towards the left. Starting from the right, we will be putting commas towards the left. So, I am going to rewrite this number again. 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 3. I have just entered the digits only. I am saying it as a digits only. Now, to start with putting the commas. The first period is the ones period. How many places there? Three places. So, you will be putting the first comma after three digits starting from the right side. So, 1, 2. 2, 3. So the first comma I am putting after 8 as you move towards the left. Next period has got how many places? 2 places. So the next comma you will be putting after 2 digits. That is after 6, 4. I put the comma here. So now you have got some idea. Okay. This particular Digits belong to the ones period. Then these two digits will belong to the thousands period. And these two digits belong to the lakhs period. Now it has become easy for us to name it. How? In the lakhs period what do we have? 23. So this is 23 lakhs. What do you have in the thousands period? 46 46,000 and in the ones period you read the digit as 893. So the number name for this is 23 lakhs 46,893. And you will be writing it as 23 lakhs 46 1893. So is it clear for you how to put the commas? One more example I may give you. Say okay, let this be the number. Now to name this. So I am going to rewrite this again. Okay. Now how to put the commas? Starting from the extreme right. After how many places will you put the first comma? After three places. So one, two, three. First comma. The next comma you will put after two digits. So zero, three. Again. There are digits written. So you will be going for the next periods also. So the next comma will be put after two digits. So it is like this. So you have got 10 comma, 20 comma, 30 comma, 405 at present. But that is not the number name. So now let us see which are the periods. This is the ones period, thousands period, lakhs period and crores period. So now can't you name the number? In the crore spirit, you have got 10, lakh spirit, you have got 20, thousand spirit, you have got 30, and one spirit, you have got 405. So the number name will be 10 crore, 20 lakh, 30,405. So is that clear for you how to write the number name? Now let us try to write the numeral. How to write the numeral? 
numeral means writing it as the digits now how to write the numeral suppose i have say 8 crore 50000 25 i got a number name now you are asked to write the numeral for this so let us see 8 crore so that comes in the crores period okay 8 it is only 8 so there will be only one place which place is that the one crores place so shall i put the comma there itself okay now 50000 something is missing there what is that one period is missing which period the lakhs period is missing shall we leave it like that of course we cannot leave it like that we cannot leave aside and then go with the remaining set of uh, digits so since that particular period is not being given there we have to assign value for that so for the lakhs period since there are no digits given we can put it as 0 0 this will represent the lakhs period then we have 50,000. 50,000 comes in which period? Thousands period. So 50, again a comma, 25. It is only 25 which means again there is no digit coming in the hundreds place. So there what you should do? You should be putting a 0. This is for the hundreds place. 2, 5. So this is the numeral for 8 crore, 50,025. Shall I give one more example for you? Okay. 1 million, 1, sorry, 1 crore, 10 lakh, 10. 1 crore, 10 lakh, 10. So, in the crores period, you have got 1. Okay. Lakhs period, do you have anything? Yes, you have got 10 lakh, 10 lakh. So, it is 1, 0, comma, Again only 10 is there. That means some, something is missing here also. What is missing? The thousand spirit is missing. So thousand spirit how many places you have got? Two places. So what you will do? Since there are no digits being given there. You will be putting it as 0, 0. And then 10. 10 means 100 place nothing is given. So 0, 1, 0. So this is 1 crore 10 lakh 10. So is it clear how to... Write the number, name and numeral. Now I have given some, uh, the notes what I have uh, prepared for this uh, particular topic or all the topics as I told you earlier, it will be put as a, a PowerPoint presentation. So in PowerPoint presentation, it will be given as slides. So please don't write one slide in one page and then turn the page and write the next slide in the next page. No, you can write it continuously. I have given the notes, in the notes I have given, uh, uh, along with the notes I have given some questions for you to do in the classwork as well as homework questions I have given. Now, we as I told you in class 6 we will be having a single book for both classwork and homework. You will be continuously writing the classwork and homework or at the end or uh, half pay, half the book and all, nothing like that. You will be writing continuously. So, as and when you finish the classwork, the, that page itself, you got a space there, you can start with the homework. One thing is a must, you should write the homework number. Now, before you start uh, writing the classwork or homework, I will tell you how to write the index page. Because as we are taking the same book for classwork and homework, we should be maintaining separate index for classwork as well as homework. So, the first page you will utilize it for uh, writing the index for the classwork, daily index. Daily, whatever work you are doing, that will be uh, written in that index. Then we have the another page for homework index and the third page for the monthly index. Where you will be writing the month and the chapters and the mark what you are getting for that particular month, including the classwork and the homework will be entered there so is that clear how to write now i'll tell you what uh, you have to write in that index page so 
as I told you, two or uh, three pages you will use for the index. First index is the classwork index. So in the classwork index, you will have serial number, then you have the date, then you have topic. Topic means what topic is being taught daily. Now, when you write the topic, when you begin the chapter, the chapter's name should be written in capital letters here first. Then you will write the uh, daily topics. Is it clear? Then you have signature of teacher. Now, same thing for homework. You will write here, instead of classwork, you will write homework index, serial number, date. There also you will be writing the topic based on what question the homework is given, signature of teacher. Then you have the monthly index. The third page is the monthly index where you have the serial number, month, lesson taught, And then you have the mark column. See in the mark column you have correctness, neatness and punctuality. So correctness, neatness, punctuality. La next uh, total. So, correctness, neatness, punctuality, total and the last will be sign of teacher. So, is it clear how to write the index? So, you have three index. First is the classwork index, then homework index, then uh, monthly index. Monthly index should have the serial number, month, lesson taught, the correctness, neatness, punctuality. That is where the mark is being distributed and the total and signature of teacher. So, you will be maintaining this so as and when you start writing, please leave these three pages. Start writing the index. Daily index will be written with the date. And inside page, once you finish writing the classwork, the homework is being provided for you. So there you will write the homework number. As it is given in the slide, you may write the homework number plus the date on which you are doing the homework. So is it clear for you? So in a nutshell, today what we have learned? We have learned about the uh, Indian system of numeration. In the Indian system of numeration, we have got four periods and nine places. The periods are ones, thousands, lakhs and crores. And the places are one tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore, ten crore. Then we have seen how to write the number name and the numeral in the Indian system of numeration. So, hope all of you have understood uh, the Indian system of numeration. Thank you, my dear children.